I know that some of you guys were having a problem assembling our uh, quick connect fitting here and we realized that it may be a little bit foreign uh, to what you guys are used to so I'm going to show you. We have our flexural kit pre-installed on the car here and when you should uh, open when you open your box up and get your kit our quick connect fitting here is hand assembled onto the ethanol content sensor. You can remove it without any tools by holding this ferrule, spinning the body counterclockwise, and pulling it off like that. So when you install your kit, you will have to remove this to install these two six millimeter bolts here. They take a 10 mil socket. And then your fuel line, I have already drained the pressure from the fuel line. So I'm just gonna re-remove this by pushing in on the quick connect fitting and then depressing these two green tabs. And then, before you install the PRL kit, you must remove this green tab. You can place it back into the line like that for safekeeping if you ever want to revert your car back to stock. So inside this ferrule, there is a groove. Hopefully you can see it well in the video. It slips over the first barb here on the fuel line. So when you're installing this, there's one on the ethanol content sensor right here too. So make sure you have the right side. Let me set this down. You need to slip it. onto the barb like that. Do it one more time. Slip it on. It locks this in. It cannot move. It can twist, but it cannot move up and down the hard line. And then what you're going to want to do, these fittings are pre-lubed with grease. You slide it up to meet the threads apply light pressure and twist clockwise and it will thread together just like that. And then when you tighten this, you only have to tighten it a little bit. This is a soft aluminum fitting. Do not crank it down. Um, I'd give you a torque spec, but you need two line wrenches to do it or open-end combination wrenches, so uh, it's a very hard fitting to torque down by your average consumer. So just snug it up. And then I'll show you on the ethanol content sensor, same thing, groove onto that groove right there. You spin it around. Okay, and then fret, lightly bend the line back insert it, set light pressure together, a little bit hard without wrenches here so just bear with me. 